Hello guys, I am back. It is week six, seven maybe? I think it's week six. Um, I didn't film last week because I ran out of time. My normal filming days are Friday and we were busy on the weekend and I just like didn't, I didn't have time to film. So I skipped a week and it's actually Sunday. So I believe week seven is like this upcoming week I think that's what we're gonna go with so we're entering week seven and this one is not a great update <laughs> I do not have a good update for you guys and because it's been so long I have a bunch of notes that I took um, during this two-week period that I didn't um, update you guys and Unfortunately, this is the first update that I don't have a positive change. So I actually gained two pounds, um, which is fine. And I knew that was gonna happen because I didn't stick to my plan. I fell off, um, I fell off the wagon really hard and I knew I was doing it. And I fell into some pretty problematic behaviors that I, did in the past um, that I'm aware of that I do and um, I I really fell back into some really bad habits um, so let me start from the beginning I am a huge routine person and I have my routines like very much down pat um, and I know that those routines serve me and I know that to stick to good habits that I've built I have to stick to the rest of my routine um, or else I get like frazzled and I I don't stick to any of my habits it's like I'm very much all or nothing which oh god I'm outside and there's a bug sorry um, I'm a very all or nothing kind of person and I know this about myself so I really try to stick to my routines if there's something um, that I'm trying to like get into so for example I started walking I started getting my steps in which was amazing I did it for a week before I kind of fell off but that is the first change that I made and I told you guys I was gonna try to do that and I was gonna try to increase my like daily uh, calorie burn um, without doing anything crazy I just told you guys that I needed to increase my daily activity outside of the workouts that I was doing and I did that and I loved it I loved I got 10,000 steps in like every day I think um, for a week and I loved it I loved the way it made me feel I loved I loved everything about it and I'm definitely going to get back into that habit this week um, because I really saw a positive change. I saw a positive change mentally, physically. It just really helped me like set a tone for the day and I loved that. Um, so I would go in the morning before I would start work and um, it really just helped me like clear my mind before I started doing things for that day and I knew that I got like 10,000 steps in before I even started doing anything for the day which was amazing and I love that um so that's the one positive thing that I have to report this this week's report is that I started walking started hot girl walking and it's getting really nice out it's really hot if you can't tell I am sweating um but it's it's so nice I have no excuse not to walk I have a perfect place to go walk every day and I loved it and I was actually seeing some changes like in my calves specifically <laughs> um, because of all the steps I was getting. So that's a bonus too. I really liked that. Um, but so after I updated you last time, I actually wasn't at home for a week. And this kind of just like started my spiral, which I don't want to call it that, but like that's essentially what it was. I, I really just like was unwell for the past two weeks and because I wasn't at home I didn't stick to many of the habits that I had built over the past four other weeks um, I wasn't feeling my workout classes I wasn't getting my steps in because I didn't I don't even want to make excuses I just didn't and 
I didn't follow my eating plans. I, I ate like I didn't have a goal. <laughs> um, and it really set me back mentally when I stopped physically completing those tasks every day for myself. And I knew that I wasn't doing it. I knew I was like actively making the decision not to do it. And I was letting myself down and that just like really got me down mentally. And it just continued for the entire week. <laughs> um, uh, and it, it just like got progressively worse. And then I, I don't use this word lightly because I understand the gravity of the situation using this word other words related but I like fell back into my binge eating behaviors um, pretty badly in the last like two days and I think I like mentioned that in my other video but I want to be open with you guys about that because it's something that I've struggled with my entire life I've just dis I've struggled with disordered eating in multiple different forms but that's like the main one and when I feel out of control it really gets triggered so because I was out of control of my routine and where I was and the things that I was doing sort of um, it really triggered me and I fell back into those behaviors and I it made me feel horrible <laughs> um, because I, would, I had done so good I had been I had been so good. I I had followed my plan that I set for myself so well um, that I thought maybe I had like overcome it miraculously all of a sudden, which is not how it works. So I don't know why I thought that. But um, I know the things that trigger that in me. And so I'm going to actively try to stick to my routines and to do the things that I know will keep me accountable, like going for my walks and um, tracking my calories because I haven't learned yet how to know like intuitively what is appropriate for my body. So like I have to track and if I don't track, it gets out of control like very quickly. So I have to track right now. And maybe it's a forever thing, maybe it's not a forever thing, but right now I have to. And when I don't, I, I really go way far the other direction. <laughs> um, and I know that I do that. So <sighs> there's that. I, I don't even know where I was going with that. I said, let's rewind and then I just started talking. So let's, let's revisit my notes that I have. Okay. Um, I told you guys that I really fell out of my routine and I know that's something I need to work on because I know it like comes from control. Like I feel the need to control things and if I can't control them, I kind of like go crazy the other direction. And this is not just with food, this is with a lot of things. Um, <laughs> so that's something I need to work on like mentally and then apply it to this that could really help because you can't always control everything which actually goes into my next point um the week before last week so last week i was like fully off the wagon like forget weight loss i didn't care we somebody is being so loud if you can hear that i'm sorry but somebody um what that's not what i was saying I, we went out to eat is what I'm trying to get to focus I'm like squirrel okay we went out to eat and I had a lot of anxiety about going out to eat because I had been tracking I'd been doing so good I had like followed my plan so well that week that I knew that I wasn't going to be able to track everything exactly like I can when we eat at home um, when we went out to eat and that was like causing me a lot of stress which is not good either like your body can hold on to that stress and that doesn't do anyone any good um and I still don't know how to get past that like you can you can work on it 
kind of and you can track sort of but it's never gonna be exact and I like can't get over that for some reason it's like really hard for me to relax and just like enjoy eating out with friends or family whoever it is because I can't control every single little thing and that goes back right back to the control thing like I feel so out of control with certain things and it just like makes me lose control of everything else and I don't know how to stop doing that I don't I don't know how so I put that I'm obviously like uncomfortable with not being able to control like exactly or track exactly the calories that I'm eating but I'm also I haven't learned like what good choices are like people who haven't like had to track their calories and they just like intuitively eat I'm not even close to that point so I don't know what good decisions to make just intuitively when I am out which I'm sure I'll get to that point I'm hope I hope I get to that point I don't want to track calories for the rest of my life that sounds horrendous but I don't know like what choices are adequate for my body when I go out to eat or like what portions are necessarily good for me or I just haven't learned that and I'm sure that like my comfort with eating out will probably increase as I learn how to intuitively make better choices for myself without having to track every single thing at least that's what I'm hoping can someone please tell me that that's what happens because I hope it does if you have any advice about how to like eat out without stress on a weight loss journey also let me know down below because I need some help I really do um, okay the next thing that I wrote down is that there's this girl this is actually the last thing that I have to update you guys on um, and hopefully next week is better but let me just get into it there's this girl on TikTok that keeps coming up on my for you page and I don't know what her name is she has like a funny name but I don't want to throw her under the bus because this is not this has nothing to do with her like this is fully just my issue but she is like a content creator so part of her videos are like for views and part of the things she says and does in her videos are for views because she does have her living so I understand that but she essentially like bullied herself into losing weight and in all of her videos she's like saying all of these terrible things about herself and like oh well I like didn't I didn't choose fat today like I chose skinny today so I'm going on my walk or my run or whatever and she essentially just used like extreme tough love for herself to like be more active and go out and make better healthier choices and it worked for her and she has lost a lot of weight and she did reach her goal and she like successfully completed her step challenge I think she did one maybe but she I'm gonna use the term bullied herself into making better choices and every time I see her videos it like strikes a nerve with me because one she actually succeeded and she actually completed her goal and I am not currently doing that but I am like simultaneously giving myself too much grace and not enough at the same time so like I can't be that mean to myself like she can it just doesn't work because then it like sends me into a spiral that I'm like a failure and can't do anything which is not helpful at all that's not good for my mental health whatsoever but I also don't hold the same like standards for myself as I should and I let myself down and I and I give myself too much grace and I'm like oh I'll do it tomorrow or oh well, that's just one bad choice or oh that's okay too much you know like I do it too many times and I don't know where the line is where to draw the line of tough love and and grace I don't know I haven't found it you know it let me know I know that's such a personal thing and like for her it worked she could be really tough on herself and she would follow through and that's how she responded well or that's how she what am I trying to say she responded well to the tough love that she gave herself I have never been a 
good about tough love from myself from other people like I I don't really respond very well to that because I'm a sensitive little chap which is fine but I also will like be a doormat <laughs> to myself and I'll walk all over myself if I don't have hard boundaries so I haven't figured out what the, the middle ground is I don't know how to be nice but also be tough on myself I don't know how to do both and I desperately need to find the middle ground I desperately need to do both um so if you have any advice for me on that let me know too I'm like really desperately hoping somebody watches this video and has like lost a bunch of weight or is on a journey and <laughs> comments on my video with some advice or something there's just so many things that I know that I need to be doing but there's so many things that I don't know and that's a part of the journey I guess I'm learning and this was my first real bad big obstacle that I did not overcome but I'm gonna keep going and that is more than I can say that I've done in the past so the time is gonna pass anyway which I heard somebody say once and you're right the time is gonna pass anyway I can keep going forward or I can keep going backwards it's all up to me the time is gonna go by anyway so um, I did have like one more question though do you guys would you guys the if you're watching this if you're on the other side of the screen right now would you guys like a full day of eating maybe maybe that would help keep me accountable um, give you guys some snack ideas maybe or meal ideas I don't know I don't eat anything like extravagant but I do I am a bit of a foodie so I try to come up with like fun cool dinners to eat that are still low calorie so if you guys are interested in a full day of eating I would love to film one for you guys I think it's fun to film um, so just let me know down below I am going to start week seven on a better foot than the past two have been and hopefully on Friday when I have another update for you, it's a better one. It's a more positive one. I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you guys on Friday. Bye.